Hi, I'm Max Keller with the Wanky Greenhouses. I'm here today to talk a little bit about, as well as provide a educational video on how we produce Ellie Pots. In case you're not familiar with the Ellie Pots, I've got one here in the palm of my hand. As you can see, the roots completely permeate the side of the Ellie, which allows for it to be planted uh, quickly and efficiently but also there's little to no transplant shock so the plant will take off quicker and bulk up faster in the beds. It dawned on us a number of years ago that in our industry there's a tremendous amount of plastic that ends up in the landfill. At that time we were making some tremendous progress and in inroads uh, with the new market segment that we were servicing, that being the landscape trade. Working together with the landscape trade, we had developed the 1801 Ellipot program, and as a result, there's a tremendous amount of less amount, I should say, of plastic that's going into the landfill. It's also allowing for the landscaper to both install and clean, clean up afterwards faster, uh, which is great for the environment as well as it's a uh, time and money saver for the landscaper. So having said that, we appreciate you for uh, taking a moment to watch the video and please stay tuned because it's quite a, quite a process that uh, is very involved and we're very proud of it. The Ellie Pots are first rolled, like cigars, into what is commonly referred to as sausage or chorizo, and put into the empty trays that are fed into the Ellie machine. From there, they travel to the transplant line, where the auger drills the holes in the Ellie's to make room for the plant material. In this instance, we are transplanting coleus redhead by hand because as we have to do with the Ellie's due to the fact that they're rolled so tight, the automated machine that would normally pick the plugs up and drop them into other configurations in the 1801 Ellie's or 70 millimeters, this is all done by hand. Once they have been transplanted, they travel down the line and receive a medium to light mist before being taken to the proper area to finish the growing process prior to shipping to our customers. <laughs> 